Welcome. This is 49B4 and this is called the traveling wave equation and we're going to talk generally about the traveling wave equation. We'll talk in more detail later. So, so here's a diagram. It shows the y position versus the x position. I'm looking at wave. And then I have a sequence of slices to this, which is showing what happens in time. I'm not showing a sinusoidal or a, or a cosine wave. I'm showing just a, a pulse. And we can see that as time passes, the pulse makes its way along the x-axis. OK. And what we can say is consider a wave pulse traveling to the right at a constant speed. We can say the diagram represents the y-coordinate of any point P, so the point P's are down here somewhere. Any point P of, of the medium at any time. Time is going backwards. Uh, the displacement on the y-axis depends upon what position P is at, what x position it is, and also what the time is. And so we can say y is a function of x and t, but we can't add x's and t's in an equation because you can only add things that have the same dimensions and so we're going to be talking about x's and vt's. Meters per second times seconds is meters. So a little bit of uh, a detail there. And here's a picture basically showing, let's say at time t equals zero, this is what the graph looked like. And there's my point p. And then let's say at some time later, the wave had moved. And so point P is now up here. Yeah? The, the P's risen. And we can say, well, what's, what's gone on here? And if you think about it, what's gone on is this point P used to be over here. So we can find what's going on here by looking back. It's like if you're crossing the road and traffic is coming for, from the right. It, if you're crossing the road and traffic is coming from the right, you look to the right. If you want to see what's going to happen in three seconds when you step out, you look at the oncoming traffic. You don't look at the away going traffic, you look at the ongoing traffic. So in the same way, if I want to find out what happens to this point here in time and the wave is traveling in this direction, it's coming from, in this case, the left, I look to the left. I look at where the wave is coming from. And so, uh, uh, somewhat unexpectedly, what you find when you look at the general form of the wave equation is that y, at a given point, is going to equal some function of x minus vt if the wave is going to the right and x plus vt if the wave is going to the left. If I'm here and I want to see the oncoming traffic I look in that direction. If I'm here and I want to see the oncoming traffic I look in that direction. So people sometimes get confused. They feel uncomfortable with a right going, a positive going wave as a negative sign here and a negative going wave as a positive sign here. But it's because you want to, in terms of the in traffic, you want to look at where the traffic's coming from. Hope that makes sense. It catches people out sometimes. So let's have a look at this. Let's see if we've got it. So a traveling wave has an equation, 6 sine 4x minus 2t. So is this a wave pulse or a wave train? Well, it's a sine curve. And so it's going to be a wave train. It goes on and on and on. And then is it moving to the right or moving to the left? There's a negative sign there. And so it's moving uh, to the right. And then a traveling wave has an equation 4 sine 2x plus 3t. Again, it's a sine curve, and so it's going to be a wave train. And it's a positive sign there, so that means it's going to the left. Cool? Okay, there we have it.